Donald Trump's infamous coup memo lawyer, John Eastman. It was recently revealed that he was on tape instructing Republican poll watchers on how to get ballots tossed out. Here is one of the things that Mr. Eastman said on this recording. Document what you've seen, raise the challenge and note which of the judges on that election board declined to accept your challenge. Get it all written down. That then becomes the basis for an affidavit in a court challenge after the fact. So basically before I continue, what he's telling them is, Hey, remember which judges didn't want to hear your challenge. And he's doing that. So in the hopes that not just so they could get an affidavit, but so that when they have another challenge, they can go to a different judge. That's what he wants them to do. He wants the lawyers like himself to be able to go judge shopping and make sure they find a nice, good conservative judge that's going to throw out more ballots. And then, uh, according to Politico, Eastman continued, um, this is not a direct quote. This is how Politico summed it up told them even going so far as questioning the votes of people who don't speak loudly enough when giving their name or address or who refuse to allow a poll worker or challenger to review their signature or birth year. So if you walk into the polling place and you go to get your ballot and like name and you're like Farron cousins, see, I didn't do that very loudly. So suddenly based on advice from Eastman, these Republican poll watchers are gonna be like, uh, 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 he is all, all, uh, the decibel level there was too low. Clearly this guy is, is faking it. We got to throw out his ballot, get him out of here, harass him, do whatever it takes. All because some people don't speak as loudly as others. Republicans are trying to steal the election. This, uh, uh, uh recording of Eastman, by the way, was from New Mexico which is where Eastman is located now. Um, they're trying to steal the election. They're trying to get as many ballots as tossed as possible. That's why Republicans have had meeting after meeting after meeting all over the country with these so-called Republican poll watchers. And that's why they've got lawyers like Eastman trying to tell them the legal ways to get ballots thrown out, you know, totally legal just because somebody didn't speak loud enough to your liking to challenge their ballot. This is what we're up against. I mean, it, 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 this is what they're doing. Not that they're trying to do it. They are doing it. And I also have to question just the, the act of having poll watchers in the first place. How is that even a thing we allow here in the United States, a poll watcher? We have poll workers, you know, we have volunteers and we have paid staff. They're there to make sure that your name matches up with your name on that voting roll matches up with your address. If you're in a voter ID state, they're making sure that everything on your license matches the sheet beyond that. That's all you need to check. We don't need people watching and looking over anybody's shoulder at this point. Poll watchers. I don't care which party they're from should be illegal. You're a partisan hack there to harass people is what you are, especially if you're on the Republican side, because that is exactly what they are training them to do. So don't give an inch, right? We're what nine days, eight days at this point away from this election. Don't give an inch. If any of these Republicans come up to you while you're trying to vote or while you're waiting in line, do you know what you have to say to them? Nothing. The only person you have to talk to is the person handing you your ballot. Unless there's multiple different areas where you need to go. And when you walk in, a worker says, you know, where do you live? I'll direct you to where you go. Talk to that person too. But if somebody approaches you in line, asks if you're allowed to vote, asks if you've ever been arrested, if they're asking you any questions, the best thing to say is nothing at all. You owe those people nothing. They have no legal authority. You talk to the people at the desk and that is it. That is my advice as we get closer to the midterms. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, 
you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.